Let's talk about a fragrance that won't be a first impressions. I've been wearing this for a couple of days in a row just to really test it out. And I just had a feeling that I wasn't gonna like the fragrance because it leans predominantly floral. And when a fragrance is too floral, it loses that little bit of masculinity that I'm looking for. I mean, I'm already an estrogen filled man tit bastard. So I want something more masculine to be brought out of me. However, this really took floral and switch the game on me and it might do that for you if you're not really into floral joints. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto a little something by the house of Morescu that's floral yet masculine. I'm kind of a big Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So this fragrance was sent to me by Max Aroma. Shout out to Max Aroma for sponsoring this video. And I was kind of reluctant on this fragrance because I want to try more stuff from this house because it is a very elegant house that does some beautiful amber fragrances. However, this one seemed a little bit, mmm, because the prominent note is technically jasmine. Now, jasmine does smell amazing when the fragrance is properly blended with corresponding notes that really don't make it a heavy jasmine fragrance, but kind of make it a complimentary note. In this particular case, it's more prominent, but it just plays off my skin so fly, and the fragrance by Morescu is jasminthia? Jasmishia, excuse me, jasminshia. So it's a very beautiful presentation. It is a slider box, but I just like how they composed it together with like a nice little synergy presentation, little reflective foil there. And then the bottle looks super clean, very fly, has that Middle Eastern flow with some kind of art deco nuance here. But let me hit you with the notes of this fragrance before we get into it, because I'm actually wearing it right now. This is day three testing it out, and I want to give you my true thoughts on it, but let's break down the notes. And I think based off these notes, you'll understand why I'm kind of rocking with it. Primaries, ginger, mandarin, jasmine, ginger, flower, orange blossom, sweet notes, vanilla, ginger again, musk, ambery, and woody notes. So as you can tell, I'm a ginger and plum fan. These are notes that really resonate with me and just smell amazing off of my skin. So this one having ginger in all three levels just speaks to my skin gloriously. However, the jasmine is a prominent note, but the spiciness of the ginger and the sweetness of those sweet notes kind of help harmonize and balance the jasmine potency beautifully. The ginger is super present clearly but doesn't overwhelm you with spiciness and gingery bitterness. It's more spice, airy floral, sweetness, vanillic, and on the dry down, it's musk, ginger, and dry vetiver. It is really nice once you get past the opening, which might be the challenging part of it, maybe. Once it dries down, it has great masculinity, beautiful spice, very nice airiness to it, kind of like a pretty candle meets a beautiful department store like aromatherapy pumping through the air system. I'm wearing the fragrance right now, and all you're getting is sweet jasmine, vanillic vetiver. Right now I'm in kind of in the mid stage. It hasn't been on me forever. I've been wearing it for maybe 20 minutes or so, maybe and it's kind of living in the mid almost at the base. And at the base is really where this fragrance shine. And that's where most fragrances should technically shine because that's what's on it the longest. Now, when I first got it, I, I'm glad I let this one play out off of my skin for a little bit because on first impression, I would have judged it and said, ah, it leans a little bit too femme. If I didn't let it work off of my skin, then I really wouldn't have considered this to be a decent fragrance. I can't answer why I wanted to test this out for usual as opposed to doing my first impression. Something about the presentation or whatever just kind of spoke to me and it was just one of those spur of the moment shit like let me try this out, see how it flows, get other people's opinions. I haven't gotten not one person's opinion nor has anyone commented on the fragrance. However, I like it. And that's really all that fucking matters. And a scale of one to 10 to not make this complicated, I would rate this a seven four. It is a very beautiful jasmine fragrance. It kind of just makes it comfortable for a dude to wear something that's jasmine prominent. Like it's a kind of, it's kind of like that rose oud that is 
very entry level. This is kind of like I can step into Jasmine without feeling like, oh, this is too cheeky or it's too femme or this shit ain't gonna rock out. No, no, no. This has beautiful balanced unisex vibes and then the bass I feel has a little bit more masculinity it's all based on our pH levels and what type of vibe we're on if I were to put this together an outfit I would say this is summer autumn evening time I think the cold brisk air would bring such beauty and elegance to this fragrance and really have you standing out from the rest this is a beautiful creation definitely more on the artistic side not mass appealing panty dropping whatever from the house of Murescu so seven point what I give it seven three seven four something like that I'm sticking around that shit and yes it's definitely a ball spray it's just smooth it's like a badass fucking candle or like a crazy store that sells a lot of beautiful perfumery and shit it, it it just speaks to me it's very nice and i can appreciate a fragrance that you just got to give it some time and you have to work into it. it's not giving you oh come and bone me instantly you got to work your way up and kind of feel it out and this is definitely one of these fragrances i'll put a link in the description i'll see y'all bitches next time you know what is biggest in the game i need to try more from this line because it's very interesting smooches Cubano, 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 what's fresh? Who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano, for the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tack, when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>